Welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, our Halloween edition, where a bunch of us nerdy ice voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Hi. Tonight, we will astound you with spooky tales. I don't know what's going to happen because we're just going to continue the game that we normally play. But welcome. I'm Matthew Mercer, the Dungeon Master. <laughs> For those who don't recognize my costume, you're really confused. Especially if this is your first time tuning in. Sorry. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Oh. <laughs> Charming. Uh, my name is Percival Frederick Stein von Musikowski de Rolle the Third. Huzzah! Thank you. Uh, I was sent to you, uh, I was sent here in terms to hopefully negotiate the purchase of some black powder. I was heard, I, I've heard that you The door slams open at this point, mid ah! and you see from around the corner a very lithe, crooked-looking man, quite elderly, but very spry for his size. You'd see his, his arms and legs are very lanky and almost spider-like in the way they move and, and shift as he peeks out, and you can see he has spectacles of two different sizes and thickness around each eye. His hair is kind of frazzled and gray and white. He goes, yes! Oh. You said you need black powder! <laughs> yes, yes, come in, come in! And he runs back into the hovel. Oh, nice. I gingerly enter the room, <laughs> and as he turns around, you can see now his hands himself are black and coated, and he goes, "So you came looking for black powder, did you? Uh, no one asked about the black powder, but I knew it had a purpose. Yes, uh, you wish to buy it? How much do you want? <laughs> speak up, speak up! I haven't all day. How much? How much for a, for a barrel or a hogshead's worth? Ah, uh, for the barrel. The barrel that'll run you. Uh, <laughs> 4,623 gold pieces for the barrel. However, for a hog yeah, You can see now there's spittle dribbling down his chin. I can, as it's as if I can see the spittle myself. Yes, indeed. Now, but for the hog's head, which, oh, oh, and he turns around and like shovels through a bunch of pieces of burlap and sack and pulls out what looks to be an actual dried and hollowed out hog's head. To fill this, to fill this uh. hog's head with it. This will only cost you 426 gold pieces. Yes, yes, yes. How, how, how about 400 even, oh. and you can direct me to some ores? Oh, I do not work in ore. I thought you might have a friend. You seem so amiable. 400, 400, I send you to Samson. <laughs> yes, yes, you take. My good sir, you have a deal. Glorious! He turns Glorious. around and just jams the ah! head into the barrel God. of black powder, picks it up. Ah! The soot kind of settles against you and the rest of you guys as you now find yourself partially covered in this slowly dissipating cloud of black powder. You <coughs> cough instinctively and push it away. 400 gold, you pay? Gingerly put the purse down in front of me. <laughs> he takes it <laughs> with a whisk. It's already put away into a side pouch and you hear the clinging of kind of haphazard coins in his far pocket. Yeah, Hoghead, take it. Oh. Samson, this way. And he grabs your arm and drags you out, <laughs> out of his hovel. <laughs> He points across the way with this kind of shaking, crooked finger. Samson, there, oh, in the brick building. I tell him, tell him, Vitan sends you. <laughs> He'll give you all. Thank you for all of your help. You've been so kind. Ah, oh, my pleasure. You want more powder? Come back. I <laughs> might do that. Good, good. Goodbye. And pushes you out, takes both of you by the arms and pushes you out, slams the door behind, and you're left kind of standing there, half covered in blackened soot and black powder in the center of the thoroughfare, midday, kind of stunned by the whole encounter. I mean, come on. Amazing. Oh, come on. Amazing. Come on. <laughs> That's a crazy prospect. I'm going to very gently. <laughs> hey, I'm going to walk over to Samson's place then and, ex, and, ex, and become very excited at the prospect of a new accent. So, 6.2, 6.4, 6.5. Amazing. Well, three you, from the Russian judge. Yeah, you. <laughs> Matt. Yeah. So, Victor, the one and only Victor, the black powder merchant, oh my God. he finally made his Legend of Vox Machina debut. He is a fan favorite. So, Victor's already quite a cartoon character. How is it bringing him to life? Not because he's not a cartoon character, not a whole lot. He's already <laughs> he didn't really there. Do much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the easiest transition, really. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, he he had to be in Vesselheim, and we had, like, conversations of, like, where do we fit him in the story? What 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 makes sense where it doesn't, like, take away from the narrative? And the, the episode button was, like, the perfect place to put it. Um, but then, 
when, when we were talking about the designs, we kind of just kept going back to my Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> or on, on the episode, right? Like, dresses. Stuff didn't come in in time. I had to head to Home Depot. I had to like throw all this stuff together, and it was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and so we just like handed that to the art team, and they they did this art. I was like, I love this because not only does it look amazing, but also kind of like looks like King Boomy, which I'm totally here for. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was. I remember it was when awesome. you did that. Uh, when I when I was there, I saw you do it live from five <laughs> feet away. <laughs> Hello. I feed uh, trinket of chocolate. Here's some rattling, some movement, and you hear the shattering of glass on the inside. You hear that? Hey! <laughs> Victor, are you in there? Just a moment! <laughs> Suddenly the door whoosh slams uh. open, and there before you, you see Victor, uh, half covered in soot, has a big old thick pair of glasses on his face, one of which is cracked. Uh, you can see uh, his chin now has this kind of puffed out, partially burnt bit of a goatee at the very tip of his chin. Uh, and he kind of looks up at you with these giant uh, eyes that are, you know, projected and, and uh, magnified by his eyewear. And goes, Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's Percival. Do you remember me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, is that all? <laughs> well, I was I was helping to procure some black powder again. We had a, we made a deal last time. Yes, yes, yes. Do I have to? Okay. Oh. I'm going to stand out here. With That's the quite body. wise. Please keep my jacket clean. <laughs> As you enter, indeed, a good half of the roof is missing, and as and as you can see now, a lot of the things have been moved away because currently there is a, just a pile of. Burnt and destroyed wood <laughs> splinters that are also soaked through, and there's a little bit of kind of uh, mold and rot and mildew that is kind of gathered in that far corner as well from the weather. Um, I'm going to stand over here and fail to stay in character. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you for that. I, you're looking well. <laughs> Mostly. And he turns around and you can see now what you did. What you failed to notice when you first noticed is that uh, where once there was five. There is now three fingers. Oh, <laughs> yes. No, he has character progression. <laughs> what will he do? That's uh, that's impressive. Learn uh, from my mistakes. <laughs> can learn three more times easily. Uh, I can. Three more. <laughs> and he runs off and starts rummaging through a bunch of stuff. He's kind of Victor, I was hoping you would have some black powder for sale. I'm on it. I'm on it. Hold on. <laughs> and he whips around. With this uh, this kind of metallic cylinder that is like very well sealed, and he's like, See, I learned from my mistakes. That's very impressive. Oh. And he walks very carefully, like very gingerly, placing it on the table. Oh, okay. Carefully. And he pulls out <laughs> like a small torch. <laughs> Have to unseal the metal. Let's not do that. And I make a. Quick, and I'm just going to try and bap the thing down as quickly as I can. Okay, you smack it out of his hand. That's, I it's trust you do. implicitly. He goes, <laughs> it's coffee. Black <laughs> <laughs> <That> powder. <laughs> I think you've had enough. Uh, I, I, I'll have a, I'll, I'm going to smell the coffee, and it's really coffee. Yeah, it's, it's kind of coffee. Okay, yeah. That's uh. Sorry, trying to host. It's been a while since I've had a drink. <laughs> what? Would you like some? <laughs> Just one spoonful will be quite. quite and he goes over to a small kettle and begins straining it through, and he's kind of making some <laughs> coffee from the side. So, uh, real black powder, right? I do know you. Yes. You purchased before. I have. Return customer. Not many of those. <laughs> Not many. Have there been others? <laughs> he pours a couple of cups for you, pulls it over to you. Uh, uh, one. Uh, months ago. Really? Who Who would? Nice woman. Uh, long, uh, good outfit, well-dressed. Uh, Excellent. Uh, you, she didn't happen to say where she was going, did she, by any chance? No, no. Weeks, not months. Time, strange. Weeks. Very good to know. Thank you. That's so helpful. Did you, did you talk about anything else with with this nice young woman at all? No. She paid well. I'm sure she did. Kept her distance. I'm sure she did as well. 
that's uh <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious. How, how have your own experiments been going? Going well? Been uh, yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should get that looked at at some point. Um, three, three more. Three Possible. more. Three. Yes. Uh, so uh, any black powder that you have, I would, I would be happy to. to yes. To <laughs> help you pay for a new roof, maybe. Oh, I have to fix that. You do. Money can help. Uh, explains the cold. He just smears black right across the front of his face. <laughs> Doesn't it though? It's like gelled in with whatever, you know, mucus had been kind of captured oh, in there as well. It's just a streak across. Oh, that's not a mustache. That's so. <laughs> oh, Turns around, uh, comes uh, back, and he has these, uh, these. He's now keeping, previously it was just kind of out in the open. He's learned his lesson. He has these uh, glass vials. Well, similar to what they put potions into brew potions, but now he's filling them with powder. And he brings out about four of them, and he goes, This is as much as I would spare. I already sold a lot recently to the lady. Uh, and I have my own uh, tinkering to do. Um, but if you wish to buy these, yes. I'm happy to sell. That would be lovely. Okay. Um, uh, process of distilling, uh, trying, preparing. Uh, 250 gold. I think that's very fair. Wonders! Deal! Deal! <laughs> that's. Yes? Uh, 250 gold, if you'd be so kind. That much? I'm going to make you something lovely. I love you. You're welcome. <laughs> hi! Uh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> I, I give the money to Percy to give to him. And I hand it out. <laughs> oh, no, he's <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Victor! <laughs> Thank you, you're so kind. And if you would be so lovely as to not mention us uh, to uh, my friend if she should happen back. 50 gold. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, Victor. <laughs> oh. I don't oh. think you want to tell her anything. Make a persuasion roll. <laughs> All you need is a five, <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Given the circumstances, it's a really low DC on this. <laughs> so I'm glad this is the one you rolled twelve on. Like, oh. For you? Uh, <laughs> I saw nothing. I love you, <laughs> I love you darling. Uh, he it and like quickly grabs like a glass vial and kind of like pretends to put it in capsules, caps okay. it up. <laughs> Keep Unt it safe, dear. <laughs> until we meet again, all of us, oh. until we all meet again. Always a pleasure. <laughs> ah, keep safe and. Uh, yes, yes. Stay certain. Keep safe. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Bye. Waves with his three <laughs> fingers. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> <going> again! <laughs> <clears throat> uh, uh, if I may. Yeah. 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 You're welcome, Internet. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, oh, was man. oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Fire that <laughs> fucking fool. <laughs> this is so cool. Liam stood up and gave you a standing ovation. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> the bits were killed. Yeah. 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 It was like, amazing. Pack it, up. pack it up right I, now. That's it. Amazing. I've, I've never been happier to be going downhill ever since. <laughs> <laughs> But that's what my peak. What a place peak. to peak. Yeah, yeah exactly. Legacy, man. What a place to peak. And the Emmy goes to. <laughs> I just want to tell you all, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> if you give an award speech, you have to do it as victory. Oh, oh, it's been decreed yes. here. He's so great. Well, you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. You heard it here first. We need Legend of Vox Machina to win an Emmy. That's right. So Matt has to go up and give the acceptance speech <laughs> with the Victor voice. Oh, oh, you, you fucking I mean, dare. Yes. You heard yes. it here. Yes. It has to happen. Campaign, hashtag, Legends of Vox Machina for the Emmys. We have a the whole year. Hashtag. Let's go. <laughs> That's true. Like Shit. Like we're going to workshop it, all right? We're going we're gonna to get this together. No. Uh, this is really your fault you, as much you, as it's mine. You, you, uh, <laughs> you, you come up to the outside of a familiar hovel. Boof. You see uh, off to the side what you didn't initially notice as you entered, but appears to be a wooden kind of trap door in the far corner that. <laughs> oh, sweet gods of Pelor! <laughs> 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 and you notice that uh, apparently something 
uh, a large sack of some heavy material has rolled off a nearby table and is now currently holding the door down. Uh, okay, I'm here. My fault. To, I'm gonna go try and lift it. Okay. Yeah. You lift it up. Set it off. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Koei, I Hey, you trying to kill me? <laughs> no. No, hello, Victor. I was just trying to give you money. You were stuck. You had gotten stuck down. What is down there? This is my Mayan building. Your, your mine? <laughs> it's Mayan building. Can I, know? <laughs> I can't I understand simple English. Don't put things on the door. It makes it hard to get out. <laughs> Something's happened to him. Are you all right? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Are you sure? No, I've been knocked down here for hours. <laughs> no. Um. Grog Scandalin, um, uh, come on in. He's, he's help me uh, out. Oh, he raises his hands up. He can see now. Now is none. Oh, oh no. thank you. Oh, no. No. <laughs> you have to build him a hand. I know. Just help him out. Can we not get him? Can you can lift, lift him up? The, the pole? <laughs> okay. So, what do you want? Well, I was I was hoping to buy a little bit more black powder from you, if possible, and uh, I was curious if you had anything else for sale. And I wanted to ask you a couple questions, uh, just about other customers again. Just uh, That's a lot. I know. Yes, I can. I have powder. You do. I can sell you more powder. Question one. Yes. How what? much? One question. Uh, first question. First question. Has a one-armed lady, a one-handed lady, a, 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 a doctor come by to purchase? I would never insult your honor or um, preferences of any kind, but... Are you saying I'm pretty? <laughs> you're a very attractive man, and... I'm taking on me. I know it. I'm taking. He's taken. Are you, are you dating right now? No, I'm just taking. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm good. <laughs> How much? Um. Well, I was going to offer. I was originally going to offer some gold, if you like. But if you if you like, I could make you a tool that you could use with your current predicament uh, as some sort of simple clawing mechanism for grasping, lifting, not getting caught in maybe, your mine. Maybe, maybe trade. Maybe claw. I love trade. Trade is brilliant. Build and bring. Build and bring, and we trade. I would ask one other thing if I'm to do this for you. One oh, other so thing. many questions! What's your question? I'm just looking for a hat shop. Is there a hat shop around here? Um, and he's just pulling around for a bunch of pile of oiled rags and shit. He pulls up a, looks like a, a small burlap sack that's torn somewhere at the opening. Hat! <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I beg you. Happy to help. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. That was everything I could have hoped for. And don't get near the fire. <laughs> really don't. Thank you. Has Dr. Ripley, has a, has a woman come by to buy black powder? One hand, one mechanical hand. One normal hand. Mechanical hand. Is that the one you're saying you can make? I'm going to make you something, a nice, useful claw piece, yes. So you're saying that this woman made a better hand than you can make? No, I can make a better hand. Then make me a better hand! Why would you give me a lesser hand? I, you're going to need to give me quite a bit of black powder for that. And more questions. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> had a bad day. Is that recent? That, that doesn't look that recent. <laughs> Oh, that's recent. That's wet. That's very it's wet. It's pretty oh, recent. Okay. Oh, okay. I can work with that. I can work with that. I'm going to go construct you something that will be perfect for your needs. I have a great idea. I will need another hogshead and a half of black powder and a little information about another customer, and then I will leave you to your work. Is that fair? He turns around, rushes over, and grabs the same hog, <laughs> phantom hog's head that he has lying around his place. Eats a lot of pork. Before, before he fills it with powder, he goes over into the and he goes, <laughs> Too big. <laughs> fills it with black powder, carefully brings it over, kind of like holding it under his arm. 
Thank you. Ah, oh, I will put this in something reasonable. Would you prefer a real hand or a claw hand? Depends. How cool is the claw hand? <laughs> That's what I thought. Percy, he yes. wants the claw to be cooler than that lady's claw hand. That's very easy to do. She has no aesthetics whatsoever. All right. I will be back. I will not leave town before I've delivered to you something. <laughs> he takes the hog's head. Oh, absolutely fair. Completely Trade fair. when you bring hand. Yes, of course. Then I deliver with new hand. <laughs> then all is well. No. no more questions! No. Uh, no. That's fine. We'll be back. It'll be good. A small. <laughs> I need a big hat. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help you, sorry. All right. Are you going to go find a hat shop then? Uh, maybe. If we pass one. Uh, all right. Uh, we will be back. <laughs> Stay safe. Okay. Stay Don't touch the door, please. I, uh, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Just. Uh, we'll be back. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to go find a workshop and All right. work on something. Thank you. We'll see you later. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> and I'm just right. It's, uh, it's the oh. thing. I'm undecided about you. It's, you're not alone. Uh, Cannot right. handle any more of that. It was just. Well, that was brutal. I, I just I feel like I just feel oh. like you have to. Sorry so much. I just thought you were gonna not make him not there so you didn't have to do it. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's just not oh, home. He's Sorry, guys. Mm. <laughs> oh, I love him. Victor, I've got your hand. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Do you want your hand? You want me to sleep? I don't see why they're mutually exclusive. <laughs> you hear a bunch of different locks fiddling. The door opens and you see Victor, clean face for the first time you've really seen him before, and he has a nightcap that just kind of in front of his face with a little like puff ball at the end. He's like, <laughs> I told you, I was trying. Oh, hell. Percival. Yes, it's quite good. I love your hat. Thank you, it's comfy to sleep in. It looks it. Did you bring my hand? I did, I did. I brought your hand and I will show you. It is very special. Come in, come in! Nope. Opens the door. You see he's wearing his long nightgown that is covered in patches and tears in it. Most of it's been just turned black through soot, but the cap is perfect. It's I, in perfect I, condition. I have a special set of pajamas myself, so I understand. They're comfortable. He walks in, yes. um, still bandaged on the arm. Uh, you can see there's like a small kettle of tea. Uh, set by the small fireplace right there. There's a tiny little table and a tiny little stool that he's just kind of sitting on right there. Then he goes and he reaches over for the kettle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tries to pick up the cup and just pour it, it, just it into like, it. I'm, I'm going to stop and attach and begin strapping this. Let me show you how this, it just, it attaches like this. Here are the two switches. And, for your mine. <laughs> Um, I grab, hit the button, twist, pull. <laughs> and I just got that! And I get the spike and attach it. <sighs> Remove it, put the hand back on. T. T. <laughs> sure. Why not always say yes? <laughs> uh, need another cup. <laughs> and stands up and goes over, still holding the kettle and splashing everywhere. And he's like putting in cabinets, like happen. knocking pieces of glass out. And he goes, ah, found it! Pulls out another little, little uh, kind of ceramic cup and pours the tea in, sets it down. <laughs> to new hands! To new hands. <laughs> It is pungent, it is bitter, it has been steeped way too long, but it definitely cleans out the sinuses. And there is a hint of gunpowder to the flavoring. You get the sense that pretty much everything in this room is marinated in the same way, shape, or form to be flammable. Victor! He <laughs> <laughs> can put hair on your balls. Oh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Has a woman been by to buy black powder? <coughs> Has a woman been by? 
Hot sizzle. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Did you make her hang, too? I did not. Do you know where she goes? No. Oh, she paid well, though. Did she? What did she pay? Are you guys in a club now? How many people want back powder? Tell me! Tell them! Bring them more! I could use money. <laughs> <laughs> How much black powder did she buy, Victor? Uh, <laughs> only counts to two, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe 12 hogsheads worth? Oh, oh, shit. Really? And how often does she come by? She only come by once. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. I'm... I'm so pleased. I may stop by one last time before I leave town just to say goodbye. Thank you. Please do. I have more tea. Many different flavors. <laughs> this is I call Dark Rose. <laughs> it... <laughs> Certainly scolded something. That's thank you. That was very lovely, and that was very charming. And I unfortunately have I wanna, business in this. Try the other one. One more, and then I must go. Thank you. <laughs> yes, of course. Stink. <laughs> like <laughs> sticks it into the wooden stool on the table. That that. Kind of like breaks the wood saps it. <laughs> Remember that it's attached to bone. It, it, you can still break your arm. Just be gentle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Have a lovely evening. Good night. Good night. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Pleasure, as always. Thank you. I, I leave in a little bit of a panic. <laughs> you leave and you just sit there staring at this long, chiseled point going. Yeah. <laughs> Door slowly closes behind you. Uh, <laughs> people said, "Can Victor come back, please?" I've answered this in a panel. Uh, Victor, Victor did not survive the assault on Vasselheim at the end of the last campaign, but don't think that he was taken out like a bitch. Um, he had he had outfitted his entire uh, black powder shop with all of his dangerous explosives and lured into that chamber a number of dangerous necromancers and undead and like a boss, took them down with him. I have a whole like mental idea of that sequence. There was a moment during the final battle, I, I remember describing it, you hear what sounds like this large explosion down below in the city, and uh, that was the moment that Victor, like a hero, took out some of Vecna's uh, shitty uh, necromantic lackeys, like a boss. <laughs> Music is fine, but this story needs Action! Boom! <laughs> Traps and bombs in every side! Boom! Not a cult has escaped unblown apart! As to how I survived... Who knows? Am I ever really here? Ooh.